Right, I'm now recording going down from Piney Slights. Similar to this, we haven't missed a lot. There were nice views of of um, Glastonbury Tor up the top there, which I've taken some photos of. And uh, this is for the way down now. After you've leave Piney Slights, climbed over the stile, you... And the cows, they do all come up here sometimes. But anyway, forgetting the cows and the horse flies. Here we are, going down. Look at the view down there. Going down. And down and down. I'm going to take us down the steep track. Which is just as steep coming up. It's just as bad going down it as up it. Use different muscles, of course. But there is another... There is there are other paths. Well, this isn't this isn't it yet. It takes you down through like a bit of a, a wood wooded area. It's about five past four. I've got until five o'clock to get to the bus stop, and that's plenty of time, by the way. That's just about, because it's awful getting there early, especially getting there early and then the bus is 50 minutes late. Now that is really horrible, to be quite honest. Especially when you've walked from half past nine in the morning, um, to have to wait another 50 minutes and get stuck in a traffic jam as well. Um, it's no joke and it, it, it could happen again. It's that because it's um, to do with traffic building up while the buses are late. Traffic building up and um, I've written something to add me there, it's a bit itchy there. Traffic building up and then traffic jams forming at Banwell, a bottleneck. So it does happen, and this one I'm going on, and the next one are usually the ones that are late. Well, it never used to be like that, actually. Oh, I can see a goat through there. Oh no, I just zoom in. Where's he gone? He's just behind that bush. I can just see his horns. Look, there he is. There's a goat. He's eating some ferns. It's a big goat. There'll be others in there. <sighs> yeah, so like I said, it can. It isn't very nice when that happens. It, like I said, it never used to happen. There were more than one bus, for, for example. Now you've just got the one bus. The last bus at six o'clock. <laughs> can't miss it but when it don't arrive to seven o'clock I tell you what it is very annoying so I, I half expect it to happen again because I had thought about driving over but you see I quite like going on the bus and not only that, um, it costs it's not all about cost, but it does cost five quid, five pound fifty to park unless you park somewhere inconvenient then you've got petrol, so that's not like so it costs you ten quid before you've even started your walk, I mean the benefits of it, you don't have to rush back that's true, you park all day and, and you can be out in the evening but um, I tend to keep Alberta for the places where there's no buses or much further afield. Yeah, I think I've had one bike so far that I can feel. So this is the way down. And um, this is cow country when they're allowed here. They don't look like they are at the moment. It might be a bit difficult for me to video when we're going down if there are people. It's very difficult to video then because I'd have to take um, 
confidentiality thing and all that, you know. The only reason I want a video going down is so it can observe the the steepness of it and it's easier video and going down than up I think although not necessarily because it is quite slippery at times so here we've got little areas where there's old walls the goats love it round here as well I nearly always see a goat where I've seen that one whole families of them the boy goats all tend to stick together by the way they like a pack of them go round and some are massive horns so that this cow pack that isn't that old so I think they must let them out and then get them in again I don't really know it's that, it's that big herd I've seen see look how fresh that is and you think to yourself god I must be heading straight for them I've never met a cow along here yet believe it or not I think you'd have to be out here either in the evening or um, early morning or something. <coughs> Sometimes it stops here. It's as if they don't go any further. They come down here for the shade, I think. Yeah, my eyes have only... I've been quite good with the hay fever. My eyes are only just starting to itch. Right, through there. We can see Brent Knoll. Which I'll probably do sometime this year. And there are some people... I can hear some people. And they're going quite slowly, actually. There's quite a good chance that I'll bump into them going down. So if I'm videoing, I won't be able to talk. Because <sighs> what it is, that path will... Yeah, they're going across now. What I can do is just let them go. But then other people will be there. I'll just let them go. They're going across to the gate. <sighs> then they'll make their way down. I think I've been stung on the finger as well. It does happen. <sighs> of course, the gorge is just through there. Cheddar Gorge is all down through there, all the views of the gorge. <sighs> So this is one of the routes. There's lots of routes. I've just taken you down what I think is a straightforward one. Yeah, they're just going through the gate now, so they'll... There we are, there's a nice view of the gorge through there, look. The times I've videoed and taken photographs... I mean, some people will think, oh God, not cheddar again. You know, it's going to get to that soon. I mean, there's going to come a time where I'm going to have to stop videoing for a couple of years, I think. Because um, otherwise, what I'm doing, though, it looks like it's not the same walk, though. Parts of it are the same, but parts of it are coming from different angles. But I usually have to get back to cheddar one way or another. And most of the routes sort of converge either that side of the gorge or this side. If you're going to come back to Cheddar, that is. There's only so many ways you can get back here. There's quite a few people doing the gorge today. Not many doing my route. Beautiful Glastonbury. Climbed up there the other day with two of my daughters. Glastonbury Festival weekend. On sentry duty. <sighs> yeah, 
yeah, I quite often don't always video the end bits because um, I do them a lot. But then I thought to myself today, well, I haven't actually videoed the end bit very often. So, um, there's a gorge. them on YouTube for storage. I, I, I save them as well. Save them to disc. Sometimes I, I keep the cards. I also save them to my blog. I save them to Facebook. Um, so that there's more than one place where I can retrieve them if necessary. Years ago we used to collect photograph albums, didn't we? I've still got quite a few of those, but we don't do that now. <sighs> Although I've got a feeling there might be a revival in photograph albums again. Um, but because you can just do it on your phone and put it on a screen, <sighs> you know, the, the old photograph projector, and I've got one of those slides... That was my father-in-law's. I ended up with it. Now I've got all their photos. They didn't do videos then. I've got all their photos from in the 50s and 60s. And some of the 70s. Yeah, and 80s. Yeah, I've got all theirs. I got I did digitalise them, but I didn't do it very well. And everything's a bit out of shape. Um, sometimes you've got their arms are longer than they're supposed to be and that because it's distorted. But you can get a machine now that do it for you. So that all needs to be done properly really. I've got boxes of, the, of their stuff. Boxes. Right, now what we've got to do now we'll go down here a bit we're going to join that track over there and come down. But we'll just follow on this one for a minute. There is a nice little route, which I quite often do actually, which is going through the cool area. Um, I, did, I did that last time. I like to vary it. Uh, this time I want to do the steeper route. I hope I can get to it from here. I'm not sure if I can, actually. It might be too late, on not it? It's only over there. I'll see. I reckon I'll be able to join it down here. But this, this can be very... You couldn't video this in the winter months because it's just slippery, slidey. It can be slidey when it's very dry. But this where I'm, this track I'm on now can take you either way. It forks in a minute, and you can go. I hope. I hope I haven't missed that turning. I could have missed a turning actually. It could be that I should have gone turned back there. But I got feeling I can't do it from down here. It's only over there the other track. Oh God! I can see somebody. They've stopped. Oh, they're moving again now. It's, it's two women that are taking a hell of a long time to go down this track, which means I'm going to have trouble videoing so you don't start moving. I keep stopping. The thing is with me, I know this track really well. If you're new to it, you will go slow. Right, now, this is the place where, yeah, they're going very slow, they're not used to it. You can go that way, which is a straightforward little route. There's somebody there taking a very long time, and 
or we go over here and join this path over here which I quite often walk up I thought there might be problems with other people so I might not be able to video at all but basically that um, takes you back up there I was near there not long ago near the gate um, they have put some steps in on this section like I said it can be extremely um, slippery in the winter but the other path runs parallel over there but it's not like this this will suddenly go down steep in a minute and it's very bumpy and rocky and there's like a little grotto cave further down that isn't open I don't think I think it might have been blocked on purpose I'm not sure it's just like a cave entrance without the any evidence of a, an opening going inside but that doesn't mean there isn't it could have been blocked because this is cave in country don't forget so we go down here so I can, I'll video what I can of the route down or the route up. I mean, I often climb up here with a full rucksack and it's very heavy at the beginning of the day. It depends if I'm going to get off the bus at Winscombe or if I brought the car, the van, um, which way I go. It's like going, I always feel I'm going back in time when I'm here. I can imagine the Stone Age people being here. My imagination runs riot with me when I'm out. I can also imagine the Iron Age people fighting and, you know, and all that. I, I, I've got my imagination trying to take me back to earlier times. Maybe we store history in our imaginations in a strange way. We might be passed on. How do we know what's passed on in the DNA that might trigger something? Yeah, it's still taking a long time. But they are moving. Right, so, we can go up, we can go down. As you can see, it's a lot steeper here. But, um... They've spotted the cave, I think. I often, you, you're supposed to use that, those roots, but I find them extremely dangerous in the winter. Because they, they use so much, they get rubbed and polished by people's shoes. And they are actually very, very slippery. So I often divert a bit. Sometimes I walk the other side. I'm this side because there's people in front. I don't want to get them on the video. <sighs> yeah, I can hear them as well. <sighs> so I'm just doing diversions. enjoying their walk down. It's not for me to rush them. I'm just taking some diversions down. Like I said, that is the main track. But it's handy to know about using other parts of the walk. Even though we don't, they don't want everyone doing this, otherwise it would ruin the landscape or something. over to the grotto so there we are there's another view up more steps going down there look and it just carries on down so I'm going to turn off for now take some pictures